Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. So, new DLC dropped, and from the looks of it, it's really good, actually. There's a lot of cool shit going on with this DLC. It seems to be seems to be much more high profile than um, the fucking uh, the Shadows of Change were. But more importantly, the only one I've bought is the Elspeth von Draken one, the uh, Death Magic Lady in the Empire. And I was a little like, mm, I don't know, because she sounded incredibly similar to Gelt, and it's incredibly hard to replace Gelt because Gelt's Gelt, and I literally made emojis of him on my fucking Discord because I love Gelt that much, despite the fact that no one in my Discord even likes Total War Warhammer 3, but I digress. Elspeth is fucking sick. Getting to play as Noln and Wissenland is fucking sick as well. There is a lot of cool stuff in this campaign. I'm only on turn three. I've literally just started playing this and I was already enjoying myself very much. And I was like, yeah, I think I want to do a video on it. A, to just show it off and B, so I could have an excuse to sit here and play it. So we've got our fantastic legendary lord lady. She's very good. She's obviously a death um she's obviously a death caster, but leans a lot into anti-undead and uh guns and artillery. So for instance, one of her first abilities that she gets at rank 12 is to reduce the battle healing cap of enemies, which I mean, that might be a thing in some of the recent DLC. I didn't get the chorf one for example, but I haven't really seen that before. The ability to lower battle healing cap, even only by 25%, is still a lot and still really good. That immediately takes the edge off of Sylvania. Most of her stuff just leans into lowering cost and cooldown on Law of Death and raising magic, getting more engineers. The Empire has new units now, like the Nuln Ironsides, which are great engineers. There's a new Lord, the Master Engineer. Which, yeah, I get it. The engineers were basically just the dwarven engineers, but shh, it's fine. She gets abilities like giving herself physical resistance and negating magical weapons within the effect area. Now, if you manage to give that to a fucking demon, your opponents have some serious problems. Now, I doubt that's ever going to be the case, but pretty good. She can give herself regeneration. She can severely lower the cost of the Purple Sun of Zelius, which is brilliant. That spell isn't the best spell in the game, but it is very cool, and I like it a lot. Frostfire Gem, which I think provides, like, burning attack, flaming attacks and frostfire attacks to any lord or hero. You can give that to any lords you like, but the more interesting one is the Everwood Root. Which provides vigor loss reduction and regeneration to assigned lord or hero, and you can assign that to any lord. So, I don't know, you can have Carl Franz with regeneration from a banner, saving up his uh, slots for something else, his equipment slots. So that's really useful, actually. What is, I don't even know what Doom Firing does. It just gives a lord three uses of Burning Head for free. Now, it's a shame because Burning Head used to be better than it is now, but that's still free spells. Free spells are great. She's got a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, I absolutely tore my way through Vissenland because it was fucking easy. Because it was fucking easy. Then I attacked Fildorf and I suffered some losses because the siege didn't go very well. So we're going to have to chill for a bit. But yeah, I thought we'd hang out and play with Elspeth a little bit. She's very cool. Just very cool. I don't know. I'm super hyped and I'm pleased because I was kind, like I said, I wasn't too sure on her. I liked her design, I liked who she was, I liked the fact that the Empire was getting a death caster and a female lord because they just didn't have one yet. And, you know, caster lords are always fun. But I, I was kind of looking at it like, well, she's a, mag a flying magic caster who focuses on guns and that's basically just Gel. But they've done a lot to make it interesting. In fact, to the point where I think the problem now is that there's not much point playing Gelt when you can play Elspeth. Now, I'll Amethyst play Gelt Mage. because I love Gelt, but if you were to look at it really pragmatically, it doesn't feel like there's much point playing Gelt when you could just play Elspeth instead, who Join basically does the same the shit but better. I guess it's possible the Gelt might be a better caster. Like, I haven't really properly compared shit yet, but it's hard to say because as much as I love Metal Magic, I've never heard anyone say, oh, Metal Magic is really good. The people who really know about stuff in this game tend to be like, eh, Metal Magic's okay, it's not that great. So, I don't know. But there's new tech here as well, like Teachings of Techless. Ward Safe Battle Wizards. More magic power reserve per turn for all armies and more battle wizards and fucking experience gain for spellcasters and minus 10% cooldown to all spells and extra power reserve. There's good stuff going on. War machine ship. Apparently there's land ships now. Looking forward to that. 
You know I am. <laughs> I want a land ship. And schematics, which we'll get to in a minute. Yes, we will. Want to get that. Grain what silos is still useful. You, you go into the Imperial Gunnery School and it's like, yo, I heard you like units that fire explosives and shit. Do you want to make them better? Like giving your infantry handgunners, which includes, you know, iron size, regular handgunners, and free company militia, so they could actually become good again. Extra missile strength, more ammunition, extra reload re time reduction, and an exploding ammunition. <laughs> which is insane. And there are many really good things for all of these as well. Like, yeah, I remember rightly, the Hellblast of Volley Guns can become really fucking fast. <laughs> they can run, they gain 50% extra speed as standard, which isn't much because their speed wasn't that high anyway, so it's plus 10. But 30 speed for artillery is pretty good. But then they get Wayfarer as well, so they can extra deacceleration and acceleration speed. It's, oh, it's absurd, it's ridiculous. I'm really looking forward to going for all that. And then there's like the Amethyst shit, which I don't even know about yet, not there. And then there's the Gardens of Moor, which I don't know about because I'm not a turn 5 yet. There's stuff going on. There are things here. It's very interesting. I'm quite excited. I'm sure you can tell. So I just want to get a shit ton of handgunners, and then we're going to go after the greenskins. And what better target for overwhelming firepower than the greenskins, right? They basically exist to be practice targets, especially at the early stages of the game. But it feels like the um, Empire has kind of gotten a massive power buff as well, just by getting sooner access to, like, handgunners and stuff. Speaking of which, when the Cult of Moor establishes new gardens, Elspeth is given the opportunity to establish new towers in return for her aid in times of need. View the Gardens of Moor panel for more information. Let's the have a look. The Gardens of Moor are bastions of solitude in this dark world, where my arcane research and rapid transposition are made manifest. Friendly or neutral Empire-owned settlements known to Elspeth can be selected here to construct up to five Gardens of Moor. Once constructed, Elspeth and her army can travel instantly to a selected Gardens of Moor with a far via the fast travel button. The Gardens of Moor also offer powerful buildings viewed in the province overview panel via the button to the right of the building icon. Select any existing gardens for the option to deconstruct and make space for a gardens at a different location. So you can just set up teleport points, I guess. So I can set one up at like Altdorf or something. Surely we'd want one at Nuln, just so we can get to our capital at any given time? We'll start with that, I suppose. I don't know if that's necessarily a good option. I don't know. I've only just started playing with this mechanic. An additional projectile for Hellstorm rocket battery unit sounds lovely. Every single one, just more rockets, more rockets, more rockets, and then extra ammunition on the last one. Hell yeah, want Moore's that. gates will soon be teeming. It sure fucking will, because everyone will be dead because I'll have been shot guardian. and exploded. Well, we should probably get rid of Vicious Gobspit, because frankly, I don't want more green skins in the area than I need. The and they don't have any allies, so we can just attack. Good shit. Now, I would just auto-resolve it, but that's not very hype, and I want to use the guns. So we're going to use the guns. I don't have any mods on this... Uh, save file. Like, I know we've been playing with mods previously. There are none on this one. This is delightful, delicious, vanilla Total War Warhammer 3. Missionary, if you will. And we do have, seem to have something of a firing position here as well. Although, oh, look at this. Oh, isn't this just, this seems delightful. This is just made for us. That's an ideal vantage point for that. Delicious, delicious, very good. Uh, I doubt they'll... They're not going to funnel through there. I don't think they can. They might come up that way. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell what units can go through and what they can't, and you can't check before the battle starts unless they're on... Actually, yeah, there is a way to check this. Okay, yeah, so can't come through there, so they would go that way or that way. Right. I can guarantee that those Savage Orc boars will probably come around this way. If we focus our firepower looking that way... Like that, perhaps. And then we set up... Swordsman up front, you know, pretty standard, pretty standard. Just make a nice little line. They'll be able to shoot over him to hit the orcs for most of it. The cannons... May as well put them up there, so that they can continue to fire once they get closer. 
you can just go up there because it just fires up, so it's all good. Then we get some of these spearmen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, just, like, pop them there or something. And then... Other spearmen, just, uh, just pop them, like, uh, here. Very good. Might be able to use these to skirmish a little bit. I'm sure we can fuck with their boar boys. Maybe lead them into our firing line. That'd be nice. Get our nice engineer there, and then Elspeth, ma'am, if you could just stand, like, here and provide everyone with lovely buffs and cast horrible spells at the enemy, that'd be just fucking super. Actually, I'd really like that if you did that. We do have reinforcements on the way, which I kind of forgot about. Start shooting them. You guys I just fire at whatever the fuck you want. Let us ensure Shayish blows in our favor. I should probably keep an eye on you guys. Uh, yeah, I probably should. Yep, 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 yep. Time to get moving. Time to get moving. Time to get moving. Go, 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 go. Lead them through the gunnery line. It'll be funny. Crank that machine! <laughs> when, I'm in, when I have alone time with a lady friend, I'm like, crank that machine! <laughs> oh, fuck. Come on, keep moving. Quick march! Come on. Come across the line of fire. Yeah, you know you want to. It's a good idea. Trust me. Tactically viable. Go on, lads. You know you want to. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, lovely. Now the greenskins have determined that, hmm, yes, we are being fired at a lot. We might need to charge. Yes, you might. Fire. <laughs> Fire there. I want you to try and lure those boar boys forward so we can get them into the gunnery line again. That worked so well last time. I don't know if they'll go for it, though. They don't seem like it. I'm playing on hard difficulty, by the way. Hard um, battle difficulty, hard campaign difficulty. Turns the uh, AI buffs on the on their units off because I don't really like it. So it's not quite hard battle difficulty, but, you know, the AI has been adjusted to hard battle difficulty. Keep moving, lads. Are you guys going to go around the sides? Oh, beautiful. Now imagine if those rounds were explosive. Reinforcements have arrived. I kind of don't care, but okay. They're just going to slam straight into our front lines into the spearmen. Are we sure this is on hard battle difficulty? That they just charge directly into anti-large infantry that are being backed up by guns? You guys just move over here. How are you guys doing? You're fine. Stop firing on them because they're going to be annoying. I don't like it when they're annoying. Where their loyalty's there, hit him with that. You guys keep moving. You're probably going to get shot by archers and that's a bad time, but you'll be all right. Master Engineer is hitting people, but not doing much. Don't suppose you could be careful and, like, land a shot over there? I get that that is a little close. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just shoot them. Where's the cannon again? Oh, it's moved forwards. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, because I didn't have it on guard mode. Whoopsie doodle. Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, oh, oh! What you think you're doing there, lads? Hey, excuse me. No one said you could be there. Why don't you fuck off? Nuked. You love to see it. Chase those stupid pig riders off. The nerve of some people, honestly. You guys should probably move. You're being shot at. It's no good. You can cast that again. Maybe you should. I'm going to keep them there just in case they try something. I don't trust them. Why don't you run down those uh, archers? I don't like them. And uh, you stop firing at them, more to the point. Get back up there, perhaps. I don't suppose you two could shoot him, could you? You reckon you could hit him? I quite like him gone. He's a little annoying. Show us 
No, I don't think they can hit him. All right, never mind. It's difficult trying to tell your units what to fire at because sometimes they just can't. And then if you trying to tell them actually makes it even worse. Everyone just line up and let the handgunners do their jobs. And then, I don't know, we'll just get the pistolers to clean up a lot of them as well. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It just feels like the Empire is a little more capable. Although I still feel the Empire could really do with a legendary lord that actually focuses on its infantry. Not because I want Empire infantry to become amazing, but because I'd like them to become competent. I have more faith in Bretonian infantry than I do in Empire infantry, and that's not good. The only exception to that rule would be uh, a direct comparison between Great Swords and Foot Squires, because Great Swords are vastly superior to uh, Foot Squires. Everything else, I'm like, well, Bretonian infantry are cheaper and do the job near enough the same. And it seems like they hold for longer. The Empire is yours. I imagine this buff in of itself, this buff to the Empire, will make the faction significantly stronger than it was before. So I don't know if they need more buffs. Exactly. Maybe they do. I don't know. I ain't got a good finger on the pulse of overall balance. You know who does need a Legendary Lord? Norska. Two Legendary Lords. And they've been here since Warhammer 1. Funny thing is the Pistolers are really struggling to wipe out that one unit of Savage Orcs. Probably because they have physical resistance and these guys do such a pathetic amount of damage. <laughs> and have low melee attack. It's fine. I like Pistolers, but I would never pretend that they're good. They have value and can be used well, certainly, but I would never sit here and be like, yo, you gotta get you some Pistolers, they're just incredible, they're not, they, they kinda suck. I saw that there were upgrades for Outriders, but I don't think there are upgrades for Pistoliers, which makes me sad. But I'll have a look, because if I can upgrade my Pistoliers, I'd actually like to. Because I like them. What can I say? Oh, that's a lot of regeneration. Oh, yes, please. And plenty of schematics. Ah, wonderful. Gunnery Cavalry. Oh, it does include Pistoliers. Lovely. So Speed and Strider, which is already an excellent start, to be honest. Restock. Replenishes ammunition. Wait, 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 are you telling me that Gunnery Cavalry can now restock themselves and other gunnery units? That's incredible. Enables disoriented contact effect, reduce speed, melee defense, and melee attack so they can hit people. Is that on their ammo or on their melee attacks? Still be good either way, but it'd even be even better on their melee attacks if they can debuff enemies as soon as they hit them. Fuck it, I'm gonna upgrade. I wanna see. Training I want. Has proven most efficient. I wanna have good cavalry. Gunnery cavalry. I want the opportunity to make <laughs> pistoliers not shit. Experimental explosive. Explosive missile damage plus 10%, but ex missile explosion radius plus 10%, all our units and army. Jesus Christ. And an explosion weapon. And we've upgraded the gunnery school. Great. Good. Fantastic. Marvelous. Hey, engineer guy. Have this. It will help you make everyone's explosives real good. All units and army. Not Lord's army or Hero's army, but all units and army. So that should work. Have some more ammo. I want you shooting, like, all the time. Elspeth, you need more spells. This first, like, tier is kind of garbage, but over here is where it gets good, especially that fucking purple sun. I really want that. And then we can start leaning into upgrading the guns. Yes, the guns. Yes, the guns. Yes, the guns. Ammunition and missile strength at max rank. Ammunition and missile strength at max rank. Good stuff. I want to get some Hellblaster volley guns. I want some real shoe bangs. Yeah, I kind of do. Now we'll quickly wander so over here and make spirit. scram scram. So uh, go on, buddy boy. Get the fuck out of here. Their end is inevitable. Our faith reinvigorated. Hey, Frostfire Gem. Lovely. Skull takes have been destroyed. That's Real good. Now I want you to go over, over, over here real quick Death and just get some handgunners. One unit handgunners, one unit pistoliers. I will make the pistolier good, I swear it. And then, you know, upgrade stuff. Our economy is struggling a little bit, but it'll get better once we get our 20th unit and we're not spending money on that anymore. Oh, it works like an outpost. 
allows Elspeth to fast travel to this location, immune to diplomatic penalties from trespassing against region owner, enables replenishment in foreign territory. Fuck, that's good. And it provides a garrison, which makes the place less likely to be taken. And then you can build shit. Yeah, an amethyst wizard. It adds plus two hero capacity for battle wizards. Faction-wide bonuses to magic power reserve. Unlocks recruitment of Knights of Moor, elect account state troops, and vigor loss reduction when fighting against the undead, and also provides garrison units. Or minus 25% upkeep for all armies in local and adjacent regions. Global recruitment duration minus two for armies in region. Global recruitment capacity plus one faction wide. It provides garrison for the local area and unlocks recruitment. Holy shit. Now, bearing in mind, you can only have like, what, five gardens of more, so you kind of have to pick these carefully, but shit, these are all good. Fuck me. And the whole Imperial Authority thing is now directly tied to how many uh, territories are under, or like, I think it's provinces specifically, are under Empire control, rather than just kind of arbitrary means of which by it going up and down. So, if you're doing well, Imperial Authority will just go up. It's currently going down, presumably because Empire factions are getting fucking bodied across the map. Yeah, Sylvania is currently doing quite well, and the Wargrave, Wargrove of Woe is currently pushing through shit as well. Amethyst Mage. It just means we got a lot of work to do, you know? Grotz Lake. Oh, we might have a big fight with lots of things to shoot against. Oh, I like that. Many things to shoot. That's now done. Jesus Christ, that's done in one turn. Well, no one's taking none from me, I'll tell you that. Funny thing is, she keeps talking about her Carmine Dragon and she doesn't fucking have it yet. What a loser. It's like me telling you guys about my Porsche that I totally have, except I don't. All right, big fight. Let's fuck him up. Stop that. Stop that. For known for the Empire. Pyrrhic victory, you say? Oh, I don't know about that. Would that enable flaming and frost fire ammo? Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> And that's good, because the Engineer and Elspeth herself are probably not going to go into melee very often, because they're both shit at it, so that's ideal. Just let him shoot them to death with special bullets. Now, it's awkward, because we don't have a choke point to make use of, but as far as I can tell, they don't seem to have many fast-moving units, so their ability to flank us is a little lacking. They do still have Spider Riders. But they're not so bad. I know the green skins have gotten a ton of stuff, but I hope they get some more stuff soon. Not because I think they need it, but just because I want more green skin stuff. I want goblins with really shitty guns. You know, basically grots from 40k. Like, literally just play it that way. So we need a hill. This doesn't work because it's a long hill. It's quite flat. We need to set up firing lines, otherwise our guns become useless and our army becomes shit. Where is a good position? This looks alright. The hills just don't work very well for us, though. If we were on their side, you know, the defensive side, this would be perfect. But, you know, funny enough, we're not. It's almost as if the defender in many cases, should probably have an advantage because they already own the place and therefore would think to t take the best defensive position, you know? It's almost as if that would make sense. But our guns aren't going to get a lot done here, I don't think. There is stuff we can do, though, but the problem is those trees are going to block a lot of our fire. Good news is the iron sides can defend themselves. They're not great in melee, but they can defend themselves. Set it up like that. We're mainly going to be firing into that pass, I suppose. Set them up along there, and then. Set them up there to protect the gunners and uh, you guys there as well. Keep the gunners safe. Engineer boy go there. It's going to be hard to shoot the goblins because they're so fucking small. So we're going to try and hope to do as much damage as we can as they approach rather than when they get into melee. It could be a bit of a difficult fight actually. 
Not because of the units themselves, because their units are shit, but purely because of the terrain we're working with. And that's the interesting thing about these gunnery armies, is that they do live and die based on the terrain you're working with. move you guys a little bit forward perhaps and then the cannon should be able to go there and fire over there uh, they're not really firing over their head I mean they would fire over their heads to hit there and up there but once they're getting close there's not a lot they're going to be able to do we serve we must be triumphant. Might need to see if we can get the um, pistol is to jerk them around a bit. But we need to be careful of the archers because goblin archers will tear these guys to shreds. Ready, Firing is occurring. Maybe see if we can get through and distract that spider rider. So they're lacking uh, flanking options. Hellstorm rocket batteries do what you do best. Which is to say clear them out. Oh, those are some good kills. All we need to do is inflict army losses. So just do as much damage as we can without taking damage ourselves. It should be all right. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, yes, baby. Ah, oh, you love it. Hello, spider riders. Hello, stupid wind-up toy. Okay, move back. You focus on firing on them instead. You're not going to get much from firing into the trees. Try and lead them into the uh, spearmen. Nice and sneaky. Nice and sneaky. Good, good, good. You charge them. We only need one unit of spearmen to lock them down. You guys turn around and lock them in place so that the spearmen can get them. Well, they're fucked. See if you can hit those archers. I can see them being a problem. Yeah, with pure overwhelming numbers. Nice. Now you get back to position. Start firing over there. Have you managed to shatter them yet? Nearly. Kind of. Not really. Uh, are you getting there? You're not going to shower him. All right, fall back. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some good shots. Oh, you love to see it. They're a bit of a problem. They do have shields, though. They should be okay. Some of our pistol ears are kind of locked into combat right now. Let's see if you can deal with them. Elspeth, their uh, shaman's looking pretty... Oh, fuck. Oh, God, you guys are pretty vulnerable and all. Get moving. Get moving. Don't be shot to shit. I want her to go kill their leader. I want... Because I want the enemy to start running away. Yeah, they're fucking... Doing that, and that's no good. You come around that way. I think I just saw fast move. Yeah, fuck that. Get down there and deal with them. Come around there. Where the fuck did their leader go? All right. Oh, fuck's sake, that's annoying. guys getting caught. Uh, there's a little bit of micromanaging needing to be done. No one said there was going to be micromanaging. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, 2 out of 10, this game's garbage. Uh, why would I even play? There we go. That helps. Okay. Loop around there. You're killing their leader. The goblins can't really do much against you, so it's cool. Make yourself scary. Yeah, they're coming along yes, down here. See if you can fire into there, because they're being very annoying. See if you can fire back. Their archers are actually being the problem right now. 
The familiar sound of Empire Infantry retreating. Yeah, I'm very familiar. Can you shoot them instead, please? Can you shoot them instead, please? Run them down. How are you doing? Good. Cast a spell on him, please. They just wad, and that's not great. The handgunners are running away. Unsurprising. What are you guys in combat with right now? Actual goblins. Okay, considering a war is happening as well, that's not good. That's not where you want to be. I still haven't killed that fucking goblin. You guys are taking way more damage from basic arrows than you probably should be. We are ready. Moving now. Form a ring of steel. No nine sides can take care of them. Pistoliers aren't doing great. Have you killed him yet? He's really not that strong. He's like the only thing on the map worse at melee combat than you. Shoot them. That's good, that's good. Go after them, just run them down for a bit. Stop getting into melee with the fucking goblins. Good shit, okay. Now you guys, uh... You turn to there, you. Bit risky, but come down there and see if you can shoot them in the sides. There are a lot of goblins there and they need to go. Now you guys come round here. You killed them, very good. Okay, you actually get in there and just melee those fucking archers to keep them off of everyone else for a minute. How do you keep getting caught, man? You have fucking 100 speed. Ugh, ugh, I dare say. Ugh, it's so t tiresome. Go on, lads, have them. Good shit. Make sure they don't fall to those goblins. They've taken a lot of casualties because, you know, there are quite a few goblins. Can't really fucking blame them for it. All right, now cease. Let the pistol is run them down. There are so many fucking archers in there. Go away. Stop it. <laughs> I underestimated how many fucking archers they had. What you may as well keep firing on them. Actually, they're shattered. Oh, army losses. Yes. Okay. That was rough. Yeah, no, that was tricky. If we'd had better terrain to work with, I think it would have worked better. But then again, a big part of this is learning how to use terrain to your advantage. Uh, I don't run a ton of gunnery armies. I play Cathay and stuff, but Cathay terrain is usually different to this terrain. I'm not used to fighting in the Empire in general. My point is that I need to get better at this. You know, if I want to get make the most out of Null, I need to get better at setting up a firing crews and then managing them when it happens. Like, sometimes I need to know to send these guys around the side to support the, uh, the infantry, because Empire infantry aren't going to take them by themselves, even if it's just a horde of goblins. Uh, need things for dealing with uh, enemy archers, because obviously they're a huge problem. Nearly wiped out the great cannons and did a lot of damage to our gunners. It'll become easier when Elspeth has her dragon, I'm sure, but... You know, our enemies will have better units by then as well, so... This was a very basic goblin army. Now, they heavily outnumbered us, sure. <laughs> But we still struggled. 3,861 goblins. Yeah, we were fighting quite a few. Fucking Hellstorm rocket batteries did well. Now, they added those kills on after the fact, I think, because, you know, we technically killed every single one of them, even though in the battle we didn't. But yeah, no, they did all right. 807 kills, yeah. That's pretty good. That's a lot of experience. Soland has been secured. Good stuff. More schematics. What else can we play with? I love the great cannons. Reduce speed and charge. Ooh. 
But I would like to save up to get exploding bullets for um, gunnery infantry, because my god, would that be good. And extra ammunition and reload reduction time would be ideal as well. Yeah, I'll save up for that. That seems good. I like the look of that. Yeah, state troop standards. We need to get that leadership up. We actually need our infantry to become better because this army doesn't have much infantry in it. So they need to perform better. We want to get down to Fort Sol and take that. That'll be nice. And then we've dealt with the green skins. And then presumably these dwarfs will be quite keen on us because we've killed a lot of undead and green skins. And dwarfs like that shit. Uh, they're a big fan. God, we're probably going to end up at war with Durthu, aren't we? I'm not looking forward to that even slightly. But it'll probably happen. Whatever, whatever. And then come trotting over here because uh, we need to take Fort Sol and the fucking goblins don't have any army stationed there. So sucks to be them. I guess they'll just get bodied. Guess they'll die. I suppose so. Hey, Avalanche, you want to trade? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you want to be friends. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you want to be friends. Oh, look, more money. Oh, oh, do, oh yes, you want to trade? Oh, yeah, oh, I would like that, yes. And money, oh, thank you. I do love money. You know, since Gelt left Solon, someone has to pick up on the role of making money, and I suppose it shall be I. Uh, get tribute. Keep things under control for a moment. Now, as much as it's nice getting all of these new buildings and shit, uh, we should probably get some money. Yeah, that'd probably be quite important. I don't know. Put it out there. Decisive victory, no lost units. Yeah, I'll take it. Four battles are a pain in the ass. Thank you very much. Hockland long rifles. Oh my god, we have like a, a fucking crane gunners now. Oh, empire of crane gunners. Oh. I don't think uh, Cathay is the best gunpowder faction anymore. I don't know if they ever were, but they were my favorite. But it's hard to argue with the fact that now... The Empire has long range and handgunner units. The only thing they don't have is short range burst fire um, gunnery units. You know, like uh, Iron Hell gunners or um, hand cannons. Crane gunners have shields which protect them, and Hockland long rifles clearly don't. But typically, if you're letting the enemy get that close to your long rifles or your crane gunners, they're probably dead anyway, so I never found those shields to be particularly useful. Oh wow, that now gives standard uh, all Empire infantry missile resistance. This is some good shit. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is some good shit. The Empire's got a massive fucking buff. It would be easier to deal with Durthu if we had backup from Karak Norn, so maybe we should uh, start to make use of that. Just, just, just head round here. Army marches. Death trails it. Well, it hard crashed. <laughs> I don't know why. It happened on Sylvania's turn. Interesting. <laughs> Everything is not fine. Something is causing a hard crash whenever it's Sylvania's turn. And I don't know what it is. I wonder... This is pure speculation. I don't know. But I wonder if it's an issue with me putting a garrison into... Um, no, no, because this is a mechanic that's already featured in the game, Outposts. Yeah, no, I have no idea. Don't know why. You know, it's a new patch. Or, sorry, it's a new DLC. They'll patch it out soon, I'm sure. But may as well end it there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want this to be too long. Yeah, no, the, uh, I can confirm, personally, that the Elspeth DLC is fucking dope. I have a friend who can vouch for the dwarf one. What was his name? Malachi or something? I can't remember his name. But, uh, yeah, who can vouch for that? And, like, I haven't tried the Nurgle one yet, but it looks really good, and I do want to give it a try as soon as I can. So it all looks fucking great. I'm not here to shill for Total War Warhammer 3. I'm just saying, like, yo, this DLC is dope. Elspeth is really fucking cool. I'm so glad to get to play as Nolan now, and I'm actually really looking forward to playing as Gelt in Cathay. I think that'll be really fun, because... I love Cathay and I love Gelb, so really it's a win-win for me. But that's all from me for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This was fun. Special thanks to Lit Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Heartland, Harak J, Dresso, Seon Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewarts, Majoko, My Moon, Alkir, Sweet Baby Red, Jessica Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lapa Lullaby, K-Bub, Magic Owl, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster, Oku, SCP-106A, Nomad, and Kitty T-800 for support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you all so much for watching. It's good, because Shadows of Change was so middling. Like, don't get me wrong, I adore uh, Wombar. 
I think he is incredible. I absolutely love that guy. And getting more stuff for Cathay was amazing because I love Cathay. But I can't ignore the fact that Shadows of Change was a bit iffy as far as the DLC goes. And it caused a lot of problems. Problems that have been bubbling for a while. You know, like it didn't just... It wasn't all from Shadows of Change. People were pissed off about their DLC practices for a long time. And it came to a head at that point. But to their credit, to Creative Assembly's credit... Uh, Throne of, is it Thrones of Decay? I can't remember what the overall DLC is called. This seems to be good. This seems to have gone down well. They seem to have at least learned some of their lessons, and they've put some stuff of real substance into this DLC, which is cool. Now, I can only say so much because I've only experienced the Elspeth stuff, and I haven't done anything since the latest update but play as Elspeth, so I haven't checked out other factions. I haven't seen other things. I haven't done anything. But it's looking good so far. I don't know. If you've got a little bit more hands-on experience with it, then let me know what you think, because I'd be interested to hear it. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time. And I mean, I have no plans to do more Total War at the moment because it's time-consuming and people don't really like it. But if you guys really want it, I might be interested in doing so. But whatever happens, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye. Goodbye.